Good evening and welcome to the 2024 NACPRO Award Ceremony, hosted by our good friends and colleagues here in San Diego County, California. My name is Jeff Perry. I'm honored to serve as your new incoming president for NACPRO, and I also serve as a park director for Anoka County in Minnesota. The annual NACPRO Awards Banquet recognizes and honors true excellence in parks and recreation at the county, regional, and special park district level across the United States. This year, the awards committee received 90 amazing award nominations, and we will be presenting 25 top awards this evening to a very deserving group of distinguished recipients at the national level. As always, the awards committee recognizes the fact that all the nominations provide inspiration and innovation towards the overall success of the parks and recreation industry across the United States. At this time, I would like to acknowledge and thank the NACPRO board members that served on the 2024 awards committee, starting with Nicole Rissler from Sarasota County, Florida, George Page from Valdosta Lowndes County in Georgia, and Reed Richard from the parish of East Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I would like to express a special thank you to our hosts here at San Diego County for your wonderful hospitality and hosting the 2024 annual awards ceremony. Without further ado, we are honored to present the 2024 NACPRO Awards recipients. The first award for Outstanding Public Official is presented to Commissioner Gary McGillivray, Oakland County Parks and Recreation, Michigan. Parks and Recreation Commission Chairman Gary McGillivray is posthumously recognized for his lifelong service of creating opportunities for all Oakland County residents to experience the outdoors. First elected to the Oakland County Board of Commissioners in November 2008, McGillivray was appointed to the Oakland County Parks and Recreation Commission in 2011 and served as its most recent chair until his death in November of 2023. During McGillivray's tenure as chairman, Oakland County Parks embarked on a $20 million endeavor to improve parks in Oakland County communities disproportionately impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Oakland County Parks contributed $5.2 million to this initiative. Improvements underway focus on access to facilities and spaces where all residents can rest and recharge in nature. Gary will be dearly missed. However, his legacy will live on throughout the Oakland County Parks and Recreation System. The award for Outstanding Support Organization is presented to Friends of Philippe Estate Park, Sarasota County Parks, Recreation and Natural Resources, Florida. Sarasota County Parks, Recreation and Natural Resources, Resources is proud to partner with the Friends of Sarasota County Parks. This nonprofit organization was established to promote community support for Sarasota County's parks. Friends of Sarasota County Parks has multiple chapters, including Friends of Philippe Estate Park. The Friends have devoted significant time and effort to preserving the history of the 60 acre Philippe Estate Park, which is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. They have implemented fundraising initiatives, including a new event, History Day in the Park. Funds raised support the restoration of the 1916 Edson. Keith Farmhouse, which will be an interpretive center. The Friends' ability to mobilize volunteers, engage community members, and garner widespread support resulted in a very successful event, which raised $10,000 for the restoration project. Thanks to the support of the Friends of Sarasota County Parks, the restoration project is currently underway and will be completed in November of this year. The award for the Outstanding Volunteer is presented to Nels Lutweiler, Lake County Forest Preserves. Illinois. In 2024, Nels Lutweiler will end 15 years of volunteer service as board member and president of the Preservation Foundation, the charitable partner of the Lake County Forest Preserves. During his tenure, he oversaw remarkable growth. He expanded the board, recruiting civic and business leaders to give generously of their time, connections, and donations. The donor base tripled and over $40 million was raised to advance every aspect of the Forest Preserves mission, educational programs, restoration projects, and innovative capital projects, such as net zero energy facilities. Facilities. Its annual fund provides immediate, flexible support to pilot new initiatives or match other grants. One of Nels's signature achievements is an endowment to care for the forest preserves in perpetuity. When the foundation reaches its $20 million goal, the endowment will provide approximately $800,000 annually for critical land management activities, such as treating invasive species, planting native trees, and prescribed burning. Thank you, Nels, for 15 years of outstanding volunteer service. 
The award for Park and Recreation Program Class 2 is presented to Dia de los Muertos Celebración, Washington County Parks, Minnesota. Washington County hosted its first bilingual parks program, Dia de los Muertos Celebración, celebrating a traditional holiday observed by people of Mexican heritage. On the Day of the Dead, it's believed that the border between the spirit world and the real world dissolves. During this brief period, the souls of the dead awaken and return to the living world to feast, drink, dance, and play music with their loved ones. The event offered a cultural significant program that appealed to underrepresented users. Attendees had the opportunity to learn about the holiday, its significance to Hispanic cultures, and the humorous undertone it brings to those who remember loved ones. Activities included bilingual story time, calavera or sugar skull, scavenger hunt, and themed crafts. High attendance numbers demonstrated a desire for a culturally specific program like this and showed that staff hit the mark in creating meaningful programming for local Hispanic and Latinx communities. Many users expressed appreciation for the Spanish-based activities, and some stated it was their first time visiting Washington County Parks. The award for Park and Recreation Program Class 3 is presented to Tracks, Elevating the Trail Experience with Augmented Reality, Anoka County Parks, Minnesota. Anoka County introduces a groundbreaking initiative called Tracks, an augmented reality trail program at Bunker Hills Regional Park. Inspired by an outreach staff member's graphic design background, the program redefines outdoor experiences through augmented reality technology. The initiative aims to address the disconnect between young generations and nature, leveraging augmented reality to bridge the gap. The program's impact is significant, catering to diverse populations with translation services, aiding the hearing impaired, and engaging tech-curious youth. Positive outcomes have sparked interest from other park agencies. The project's inclusion and innovation stand out, positioning Anoka County as a leader in advancing outdoor recreational services and paving the way for a new era of park experiences. The first award for Park and Recreation Program Class 4 is presented to New Gen Broward County Parks and Recreation. Florida. The New Gen program is a transformative initiative by Broward County Parks and Recreation. It addresses the critical needs of at-risk youth in underserved communities by closing gaps and promoting equality. With 23 participants in New Gen Leaders and 55 in New Gen Protégé, this program effectively equips young people with valuable life skills and career preparation tools, empowering them to overcome barriers and reach their full potential. The program shares the core objectives of character development, academic success, and leadership training. Our staff encourage and lift our youth by mentoring them and providing valuable skills that will have lasting impacts on the program participants and and the greater community they interact with for years to come. The second award for Park and Recreation Program Class 4 is presented to Blind Sports Day Program, Palm Beach County Parks and Recreation Department, Florida. Blind Sports Day is a unique opportunity for all community members to experience sports for individuals with visual impairment and blindness. People with or without visual impairment or blindness enjoyed a free interactive day playing four different blind sports, beep baseball, beep kickball, bocce, and goalball. During demonstrations, participants experienced the activities using their senses of hearing and touch. Offering blind sports to people with visual impairments is not just about physical activity. It's about empowerment and inclusion. Through blind sports, individuals can break barriers, build confidence, enhance physical health, and foster social connections. Sports provide a platform for individuals to showcase their abilities, challenge stereotypes, and be a part of a supportive community that understands and values their unique perspectives. The impact of blind sports extends beyond the playing field, promoting independence and a sense of belonging for individuals with visual impairments. The award for Park and Recreation Facility Class 2 is presented to St. Croix Bluffs Regional Park Boat Launch, Washington County Parks, Minnesota. This project replaced a highly utilized boat launch located along the wild and scenic St. Croix River. Improvements include reconstructing the deteriorated ramp, adding power loading protection, dredging the harbor and channel, resurfacing the parking lot, modifying curbs, and replacing the staircase with an accessible sidewalk. Surveys were used to collect underwater evaluations of the harbor and channel bottoms. Surveys confirmed estimated dredging quantities and verified correct depths were obtained. Electrofishing equipment was used to prevent fish kill prior to dewatering the harbor. Over 2,500 fish were stunned and safely transferred to the river. This project revitalized a popular river access point to make it usable for years to come and did so in a way that improves accessibility with minimal environmental impact. The award for Park and Recreation Facility Class 3 is presented to Glass City Metro Park, Metro Parks, Toledo, Ohio. The community debated for decades about how to reimagine the former industrial sites along Toledo's downtown riverfront. Developers 
Builders announced plans that never materialized, leaving only a street lined with decorative lamp posts that locals derided as the road to nowhere. Then, Metro Parks Toledo envisioned a green space to reconnect citizens with the Maumee River. Glass City Metro Park opened on one of these sites in June 2023, turning the forgotten waterfront into one of Northwest Ohio's signature attractions. The 70-acre park includes 15,000 feet of trails, 17 acres of trees, a 27-acre prairie, and 3,000 linear feet of improved shoreline. Numerous unique features make the park a year-round outdoors destination, such as a 1,000-foot-long ice skating trail named The Ribbon, a 41-foot-tall play tower, a prairie and pollinator-themed playscape, and a water play area inspired by the Maumee River. In the first three months of operation, people visited Glass City more than 200,000 times. More than 50,000 people skated on the ribbon in its inaugural season. The first award for Park and Recreation Facility Class 4 is presented to Mid-America Sports Complex Renovation, Johnson County Park and Recreation District, Kansas. Johnson County Park and Recreation District's Mid-America Sports Complex is made up of 10 300-foot softball fields and two regulation baseball fields that were constructed in the early 1990s. The renovation converted all 12 fields from grass to fully synthetic surfaces, constructed three new concession stands, including a fan zone with enhanced amenities, and removed 515 accessibility barriers. The $25,998,000 project was funded with Johnson County Park and Recreation District tax revenue. An innovative approach was taken to ensure sustainability for the facility for years to come. All net and sponsorship revenues generated at the facility are kept in a project fund for future turf replacement. A cooperative agreement with the City of Shawnee, where the complex resides, also contributes to the fund. The response from the public and tournament providers has been outstanding. The second award for Park and Recreation Facility Class 4 is presented to OC Parks Saddleback Wilderness, Orange County Parks, California. Enjoy sweeping 360-degree views of the mountains to the sea at Saddleback Wilderness, located within OC Parks Irvine Ranch open space. Featuring a scenic overlook with panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean and surrounding landscape, Saddleback Wilderness offers 3.3 miles of trails for hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding in the heart of Orange County, California. The trails are situated at the site of Saddleback Park, America's first off-road motorsports park, and are now home to many unique and protected plant and animal species. Great care and attention were paid to preserving this natural space while designing a trail system that has also allowed for expanded public use. The award for Trails and Corridors Class 3 is presented to Sycamore Grove Trail, Bridge, and Stream Stabilization at Governor Bebb Metro Park, Metro Parks of Butler County, Ohio. Governor Bebb Metro Park near Okeana, Ohio has long been a favorite destination for hiking the forested trails, educational events at the Pioneer Village, and camping at the quiet Riverside Campground. But now, this beloved park can welcome more people to enjoy a walk on the wild side. Completed in 2023, the project demonstrates the use of collaborative funding to advance conservation, recreation, and education efforts in western Butler County. The project successfully improves regional water quality through nutrient load minimization, stabilizes bank erosion that had threatened a popular campground, and provides new access to the 60 acres of mature woodlands via an accessible pathway and a primitive trail loop with an 80-foot high bluff overlook. The $1.3 million project leveraged funds from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources through an H2 Ohio grant for stream stabilization and a land and water conservation fund grant for trail and bridge costs in addition to local funds from Metro Parks of Butler County. This multifaceted trail project will provide long-lasting outdoor recreation and conservation benefits in Butler County, Ohio. The award for Trails and Corridors Class 4 is presented to Swamp Rabbit Trail, Greenville County Parks, Recreation and Tourism, South Carolina. The Swamp Rabbit Trail Network is an ambitious partnership led by Greenville County, South Carolina that connects communities, businesses, parks, and schools through multi-use transportation and recreation. The trail network totals 28 miles with 17 continuous miles thanks to a four-mile extension that connects to the zoo, downtown airport, runway park, and legacy park. The extension project includes two Two new bridges that cross major roadways to improve trail safety. A trail counter recorded 767,856 people using the trail in 2023 by bike and on foot. Demand for the Swamp Rabbit Trail Network continues to grow as the county sees steady population growth. Greenville County Parks, Recreation and Tourism partners with municipalities, schools, real estate developers, and other property owners on strategies to extend the connected trail access. The county partners with trailside businesses who offer and promote 
free trail parking, which saves funding and drives more businesses to trailside locations. A win-win scenario. Sponsored by Prisma Health, the local hospital system, the Swamp Rabbit Trail offers a safe opportunity to exercise or commute throughout Greenville County without a vehicle. The award for cultural history is presented to Sankofa Mobile Museum. Remember the past, impact the future. The Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission, Department of Parks and Recreation, Prince George's County, Maryland. Sankofa means to retrieve your history to progress forward. And that is truly what the Sankofa Mobile Museum does. By going to schools and engaging students with state-of-the-art technology, Sankofa bridges the past and present in a tangible way that makes learning about history engaging and relevant. The stories and experiences of diverse historical figures and contemporary newsmakers inspire participants to consider the agents of change and how our present culture and their actions can inform the future. Using augmented and virtual reality technology, students meet a teenage Civil War soldier, a black aviation pioneer, a colonial era businesswoman, a deaf activist, a student who fought for civil rights, a Piscataway elder, a modern day environmentalist, and an enslaved family who sued for their freedom. Since May 2023, this interactive museum on wheels has brought previously untold histories to over 1,200 people living in Prince George's County. The award for conservation is presented to Mineral Springs Creek Corridor Restoration, Ozaki County Planning and Parks Department, Wisconsin. In 2023, the department engineered and constructed a large-scale coastal resiliency and restoration project in the Mineral Springs Creek Corridor in the city of Port Washington, Wisconsin. In 2018, a major 500-year rainstorm scoured the stream bed and exposed a sanitary sewer line. In response, the city installed an emergency protection dam structure, creating a major fish passage barrier three-quarters of a mile from Lake Michigan. Restoration activities included stream bed restoration to submerge the utility structure, regrading ravine slopes, and planting native prairie trees and shrubs. The city coordinated the transfer of Oakland Green Park to the county for restoration to native prairie to improve resiliency and increase bird and pollinator habitat. This project protected critical utility infrastructure, improved aquatic connectivity, and the overall ecological function of the Mineral Springs Creek Corridor. The award for marketing is presented to County Fair Get Out There Exhibit, San Diego County County Parks and Recreation, DPR, California. The San Diego County Fair is the largest county fair in the U.S., so DPR staff were thrilled to be asked to co-lead the design of their 20,000 square foot main exhibit hall, themed Get Out There in 2023, an ideology closely mirroring the department's daily mission. In months, dozens of wall panels were produced, hundreds of graphics were printed, and tens of thousands of words were researched, edited, and approved by industry experts, culminating in a vibrant display of habitat highlights and recreation recommendations that some 997,720 visitors enjoyed. It was a collaborative collaborative effort between DPR and California State Parks, each partner managing facets of the floor plan where their parks took center stage. DPR staff also worked in an on-site ranger station and hosted presentations throughout the 22-day state fair. This innovative partnership expanded outreach and inclusivity by sharing park information with new audiences, ultimately boosting park visitation and event attendance. The award for planning initiative is presented to Universal Design Park Checklists, Polk County Conservation Board, Iowa. Polk County Conservation's vision to eliminate social and environmental barriers for persons with disabilities inspired the Athene North Shore Recreation Area. To keep accessibility at the forefront of the park creation process, PCC partnered with an architecture firm and consultant to create Universal Design Park Checklists. The checklists set forth key universal design considerations related to programming, parking and entry, interior spaces, playgrounds, trails, and water activities in outdoor public spaces. To continue to advocate for the consideration of all user groups, PCC has also made the tool freely and widely available to park planners so they can consciously make evidence-based design decisions which increase opportunities for inclusive, accessible outdoor recreation nationwide. When the park opens in 2024, users will see the ways in which these checklists enable the thoughtful design and installation of park features and activities that meet the needs of all. The award for innovative financing is presented to leveraging financial park partnerships, Cleveland Metro Parks, Ohio. Cleveland Metro Parks spans 25,000 acres across six counties in Northeast Ohio. The park system includes 18 reservations, a nationally acclaimed zoo, nine golf courses, retail and dining operations, and more. The park system executes between 20 and 40 unique capital projects annually. Cleveland Metro Parks highly leverages their funds, multiplying their impact many times over through partnerships and innovative funding, while never selling bonds or borrowing money to finance capital improvements. This extends our ability to expand and enhance equitable park access for all. The park system also offsets expenditures by generating revenue through
its business operations across parks, zoo, golf, dining, and retail. Our exceptionally skilled staff has secured millions in federal, state, and local grants and attracts investments by nonprofits, foundations, and individuals. The first award for universal accessibility is presented to Visually Impaired Persons Trail, El Paso County Parks and Community Services, Colorado. The Visually Impaired Persons Trail, or VIP Trail, was created to encourage inclusivity in outdoor spaces by transforming a standard trail into one that accommodates those with vision impairments. A guide rope channels visually impaired individuals on a flat boardwalk along the riparian corridor of Bear Creek, fostering independence. Knots along the rope signify points of interest, where users pause to engage with interpretive signs, read aloud by an audio device, PenFriend, that can be checked out for free at the Nature Center. The Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind assisted with ensuring the trail was addressing the needs of this targeted community. The trail's impact extends beyond physical access, contributing to the well-being of visually impaired individuals by providing an enriching outdoor experience. Its commitment to inclusivity and community engagement sets a commendable precedent, inspiring others to embrace similar initiatives for a more accessible and inclusive world for all. The second award for universal accessibility is presented to All Abilities Play Inclusion, Palm Beach County Parks and Recreation Department, Florida. The Palm Beach County Parks and Recreation Department is a nationwide leader in universal accessibility. Through its All Abilities Play Inclusion program, the department operates the CMAA Therapeutic Recreation Complex, offering a state-of-the-art athletic center with adaptive sports equipment, an aquatic center with pool lifts, and programs designed to enhance the quality of life for thousands of adults and children with differing abilities each year. In 2023, the department undertook design work for a Miracle League field, a fully accessible ball field for individuals with special needs. During the past year, the department's inclusion efforts were featured in several media stories, significantly helping to raise awareness. The first award for social justice is presented to Nature Center at the Summit, Great Parks, Ohio. Nature Center at the Summit, NCTS, is a collaboration between Great Parks and New Prospect Baptist Church on an urban site in Cincinnati that had not been previously served by Great Parks. NCTS delivers equitable access to nature exploration opportunities for underserved Black and Jewish communities near the center. The signature event for NCTS is the Urban Thrive Festival, which highlights interactions with nature, urban farming practices, and health and wellness education resources to new and diverse audiences in the urban core. The Urban Thrive Festival doubled in size in 2023, with most attendees saying they had discovered a new nature-based experience at the event for the first time. Introducing new people to a nature hike in the middle of the city, urban farming possibilities, and new ideas about health and wellness education is exactly the type of outcome envisioned with the creation of NCTS and the Urban Thrive Festival. The second award for social justice is presented to Pathways Internship Program, Three Rivers Park District, Minnesota. Three Rivers Park District operates a paid internship program aiming to introduce youth to careers in parks and recreation and local government. Pathways internships are open to high school and college students and provide a hands-on experience to learn and explore career opportunities in parks and recreation. The program represents an intentional effort to connect with youth who are underrepresented within Three Rivers and Parks and Recreation. Demographic groups underrepresented in the park system include residents of first-year communities, people of color, new immigrants and refugees, and households with an average annual income of less than $50,000. Staff have focused heavily on connecting with youth in the first-tier suburban communities surrounding Minneapolis. Opportunities span across parks and career fields, including parks operations, outreach, natural resources, and park maintenance, allowing interns to explore different areas of employment in the field. The award for new professional is presented to Stephanie Bosak, Lake County Forest Preserves, Illinois. In five years with the Lake County Forest Preserves, Stephanie Bosak has seamlessly integrated the service-oriented dedication typical of public agencies with the refined business acumen of the competitive private hospitality industry. A cornerstone of the Business Development Division, Bosak consistently demonstrates commitment through creative initiatives and tireless efforts to optimize processes. As event operations manager, she revitalized a defaulted licensed facility by establishing a flourishing in-house operation, achieving an impressive $100,000 in banquet operations in just two years. Bosak's adept management led to substantial revenue growth from $65,000 in 2018 to $200,000 in 2022 at Greenbelt Cultural Center in North Chicago. Her multitasking prowess, adept proposal creation, and innovative event planning underscore her invaluable contributions, which have positioned the forest preserves for sustained success in a competitive landscape. The award for Professional Fellow is presented to Kim Reeser, CPRP, Springfield Green County Park Board, Missouri. Kim Reeser, CPRP, has worked in the City County Public Park Agency government sector for over 27 years. Kim is Assistant Director with Springfield Green County Park Board. She played a significant role from 1997 to 2011 as part of the leadership team that transitioned the City of Springfield Park Board to 
the Springfield Green County Park Board. Kim also serves on the adjunct faculty with Missouri State University as a per-course instructor. She has served on numerous NRPA and United States Tennis Association committees over a period of 30 years. While serving on the board of Missouri Parks and Recreation Association, Kim was the chair of the Board of Regents for the Lyle B. Beaver Leadership Development Institute for park directors and agency administrators. She has served on leadership teams who have received the prestigious Gold Medal Agency Grand Plaque Award, MRPA Agency Awards, CAPRA Accreditation, and numerous other awards from various national governing bodies of sports. The award for Lifetime Professional is presented to Tim Zellick, Great Parks, Ohio. Tim Zellick, the Chief of Planning for Great Parks, is retiring after nearly 30 years of service. His leadership helped steer the agency's growth to a point that it now attracts more than 6 million guests annually to its unforgettable destinations. Tim helped to transform Great Parks into a regional leader in the conservation and preservation of natural lands. His vision and skill led to the creation of new gathering spaces and play spaces that are now regarded as community treasures. His drive helped Great Parks surpass 18,000 acres in total land holdings, which makes it the largest landowner in the county. In both the breadth and impact of his accomplishments, Tim's career of service leaves a lasting impact that will be felt for generations to come. In closing, on behalf of the NatPro Board, thank you and congratulations to all distinguished recipients this evening of the 2024 NatPro Awards Program. Your outstanding contributions, projects, and programs will pave the way to best serving our great nation through parks and recreation at the county, regional, and special park district level. Thank you.